Welcome to Flow Working, the entrepreneur's podcast. Before we begin, make sure to tap the subscribe button so you never miss out on any advice from one of our guests or regular experts. Hello and welcome to Flow Working, the Entrepreneur's Podcast, the podcast where entrepreneurs come to hear tips, tricks, and advice from other entrepreneurs about what it takes to run a business in all types of industries, and my guests to come to share how they turn their passions into businesses. I'm your host, Megan Anderson, and in this episode, I'm joined by Ed Troxell. Ed is a video coach and online marketing consultant, guiding service-based business owners, real estate agents, coaches, consultants, speakers, with marketing in their business online using the power of video. Ed makes it easier for business owners to create and share video content online to market their business without all the complicated tech or perfectionism that holds most people back. He shows you how to finally get caught up with today's technology and future-proof your business with simple, effective systems that give you more time back in your day. As a former Apple Inc. employee, Ed brings a unique skill set to the table from sales, marketing, strategizing systems and processes to teaching the importance of video and really simplifying today's technology. His tips and tactics are sure to take your business online to the next level. Welcome to the show, Ed. I'm super excited to have you joining. We get to talk about video today. Yes, I am so excited and I am ready for this conversation. Yes, super excited. So this is kind of a unique, for my listeners out there, this is a unique guest. A lot of times we're talking, talking different topics, but today Ed and I are sharing a topic of video because we just both have a passion for that video. So uh, let's get started with today. We're going to talk about social media and marketing on your business. All right. There's tons of social media platforms out there. Like, let's talk about using it, how we should use it, maybe how to pick a platform, that kind of thing. So share with me some of your tips about using social media for, for marketing purposes. Yeah. Well, the first one is understanding that you have to use social media these days. I know there's a lot of business owners out there listening and they know that they need to, but they have a certain feeling about social media. Uh, most of the time, it's more of a hate versus love relationship. And that's the first thing that we have to overcome and address with ourselves is the need to be on social media. And then that's when we can actually start to look at the various platforms and see which one deserves more of our time versus the others. Um, we should be on the big platforms and have a presence and we can break that down here throughout this episode, but we should have a presence on all of the major platforms because it's for business. Whether you love or hate Facebook, it's still a very active, very, uh, impactful uh, social site that you should be present on for your business. It uh, doesn't mean you have to post there every day. doesn't mean you have to have your personal feed full of business stuff, which is a whole other story, but it means that you should still have a presence. Uh, same thing applies for Instagram, LinkedIn, whatever platforms are out there that are relevant. You want to make sure that you have a presence on there. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. You know, I'm, I'm sure you talk to your clients. I talk to my clients about this. It's, you know, okay, who's your target audience and where are they? And it doesn't matter if you like the platform. Right. Like, we've all email marketed. We've all in the past, I'm going to cringe, cold call marketed, <laughs> nail mail marketing for those of us who are really old and remember that. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't your way of receiving marketing, but if your clients are there, that's, that's really where you should be present. Um, yeah. so I'm actually going to mention one because I know you did a reel on this earlier this week and I found out that TikTok is letting us do longer videos. So let's talk oh, specific yeah. TikTok for business because a lot of people are like, oh, that's just personal fatty, like viral videos. Well, let's talk TikTok for business a little bit. What are your yeah. thoughts and, and how to utilize that? Because it is the fastest growing platform. It is. And currently right now it, it actually has passed Facebook. Uh, so who knows if that's going to last, you know, but that that's where we're at. And with TikTok, it's different. And that's what's fascinating about it. And that's why people are gravitating towards it. It's so different than any of the other platforms out there. So if you're used to your Facebook and your Instagram and your LinkedIn, that, 
that's fine, but don't expect the exact same thing that you're doing there to work on TikTok. And what I love about TikTok is, is that it's really about education and entertainment. Hmm. And that's what's really grown that platform. It started with uh, dancing. And, and many of you listening are probably thinking of TikTok as being a fun dancing platform. And you're not wanting to be there for your business because you don't want to dance. <laughs> and that's okay. You do not have to dance. But it doesn't mean that you disregard the platform, yeah. especially when it comes to your business. You should be on TikTok watching, observing, spend a few minutes on there, set a timer so you don't get drawn into it for four hours when you wanted only you know 10 minutes. Um, but research your audience on there. See what people are posting. See what feels right for you, uh, what maybe inspires you, you know, there's a lot of things that I've learned on TikTok from not just the dancing videos, because let me let me tell you, people say I'm a good dancer, but I cannot do those choreograph, like whatever things they got. <laughs> <No>! <laughs> it, it, it doesn't work for me, okay? No. Uh, so I will post more educational stuff or just more fun stuff. Uh, but a lot of people go to the platform for education and entertainment, which is awesome because it's so different than the other platforms. Though, of course, our other platforms will have those same things happening, but the way that TikTok works and the way that the technical term algorithm shows us different things, we're allowed to discover more. And the more we discover, the more we find what we like and what we don't like. Mm -hmm. And so that's really what's been fascinating about TikTok. And even if you don't post yet on TikTok, explore it, look at what's available for it. Yeah. And you can even create your videos. I'm always gonna start with videos there. You can even create your videos there to share on your Instagram or yeah. your Facebook or wherever. Yeah. Um, you know, you can use it as your creation studio mm -hmm. that's in your pocket. Yeah. So that's, that's the fascinating thing about TikTok. Oh, I love that. Cause yeah, I will say I'm old school on Facebook. <laughs> well, and I'm and really into realizing TikTok. Okay. You got it. You, you've got this expansion. I mean, even just YouTube, I know I'm like aging myself there. Even YouTube was new to me when I started my podcast a little over a year ago. And now I'm like, Oh, Oh, okay. This is great. Oh, this is fantastic. And so utilizing those platforms, like you said, even if you're recording over here, and sharing to where you already have a grown audience, that's great. Yes. TikTok I yes. think is actually really, not only is it easy to record, I will say this, it's a lot of fun. Yes, and yeah. you, you bring up such a great point around the following situation. Mm -hmm. um, because people are fascinated with TikTok and that's you know the biggest thing right now, everyone's trying to, just like on any platform, grow their following. So if you're listening to this and you're like, man, I don't want to be on another platform and try to start from zero to build up. You don't have to take a step back and ask yourself, what is your goal here? Yeah. And understand that you don't have to try to get a million followers on TikTok or any platform for that yeah. matter. Your goal should be to show up, deliver valuable information that you are an expert around and engage with the people that you're attracting so that you can build up that no like trust factor quickly and not only gain followers, but gain relationships that are gonna be there to support you through thick and thin and refer you out to people. It's all about that conversation and being able to join it or start it through your content, which I'm gonna say video content. <laughs> video content, because, well, and I, you know, I was just doing a live on Facebook today about this, but that no like trust, 96% of human communication is nonverbal. Video gives you all of that instantaneously. Yes. And instantaneously. <laughs> yes. And it allows you to feel that person's energy, see them, hear them. It makes all of these connections. So even if you're listening just to the audio of this, you're going to be inspired because now you're going to want to go look for the video part to see what we look like, to 
feel the energy that we're feeling and putting out there through the camera. And it also allows you to work smarter, not harder, because you're creating one piece of content that then you can repurpose into multiple pieces of content easily. And it's just so rewarding when it comes to video, not to mention this year alone, over 80% of all internet traffic is video based, Mm -hmm. which means if you're not recording videos and sharing them, you are left behind and you're going to continue to be left behind if you don't start right now. Right now. Yeah. And so that kind of pulls us into the next topic, which is what types of posts should we be doing? Okay. We know video, but, but you know, we've got these social media strategists who are like, okay, you got to have this type and this type and this type. So let's talk about even specifically with any video, what types of posts should I be doing? Because let me tell you, I'm not a viral video human. Yeah, no, no TikTok dancing for this girl. (laughs) Exactly. Well, and then that goes back to what are your goals, right? So your specific goal, you just told us is not to go viral. And and let's just talk about that for a second, because I think (laughs) That's such a big thing for people, not knowing what goes past that. They just, they hear the word viral and they think that's what I need. Let me ask you, if that is in fact your goal to go viral, are you prepared for what comes next? Because I can almost guarantee that every single one of you are not. Because what happens when you go viral is you have to have a system and processes in place in order to ride that wave and make it beneficial for you. Otherwise you're a one hit wonder and you probably didn't make any money off of that one hit wonder either. So, So understand that the goal shouldn't be to go viral unless you have everything in place to help support that. And that's gonna take a lot of your time, energy and probably your money. Oh God, yeah really make sure that you're clear on what your goals are. And so, like you said, Megan, that's not your goal. So for you, the types of posts that you're probably going to want to share are ones that are real and that feel comfortable for you and that your audience wants to know, right? Absolutely. Yeah. That, you know, I talk about all the time, you know, I call them marketable moments, those authentic, unique, totally you just, that's what it is. I mean, uh, the, the last Tuesday it was two twenty two twenty two, and I was just like, oh, yeah. I don't know what to show. And I was like, I don't know what to say. So I literally got on and was like, yeah, you know, when you're supposed to do a video and don't know what to say, yeah, this one. I'm like, yeah, that's where we are. But happy Tuesday. <laughs> Sometimes, and actually, I will tell you, some of those videos where I'm just like, I don't really know, but here we are doing the thing. Those get watched. Pick up your phone and record. I'm at a thing, doing my thing. Hey, folks, I'm having a last blast. Look, check out what I'm. Because yes. you're real, you're human. And that wants human. Yes. And that takes us back to why TikTok's so popular, Mm -hmm. because a lot of people are showing real authentic work that's going on and they're allowing you to see what's behind the scenes and to see what's going on. I mean, even for, for this interview, I could have worn a nice button up shirt because sometimes I do that and, and it's fine. I could have worn a button up shirt, but for me, I thought, no, I'm going to keep on what I have, which is athletic wear, yep. because I feel comfortable. Mm-hmm. I look decent enough. Yep. I feel confident yep. about what I'm sharing. And it allows me to then use this as an example for those who are tuning in so that they can be empowered to do the same for themselves. Oh, totally. I mean, being, being a woman, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, you got to do the whole, you know, let's say TikTok makeup, the whole like, and I'm like, right. okay, first off, that's not me. We've got light makeup on only because I'm a white girl in the glare. And the <laughs> <laughs> But you can't really tell the difference between this and normal. My hair, okay, wear it up. I'm not a jewelry person. Why would I slap jewelry on? I don't do jewelry. I'm in my comfy sweater because it's, you know, like 50 degrees outside and I'm cozy and I'm warm and that's, and I'm yeah. sitting in my kitchen. And yes. Sitting in a living room. I have had guests come on and they're like, I'm so sorry. Do I need to get a professional background? Should we turn the green screen on? And I'm like, nah, you're great. I love it. Let's do this. Cause it's yeah. you like behind yeah. the scenes, who you are, how you work. Cause let's face it. When we're showing up to those professional things and we've got our true professional stuff, self on. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> it's kind of like showing up to a funeral where you're like, okay, 
I'm here because it's got to be and I'm good. And, I'm, you know, our Sunday church, we're like, I'm going to be good. But it's not really yeah. who we are or how we work with our clients. Right. And and that's the thing, you know, and for those who are thinking about video and you're you're still, you know, nervous, whatever. Here's a quick tip is get good lighting. Honestly, that is probably at least one of the biggest things for me is that if I can have decent lighting, I feel calm, I feel comfortable, I feel confident. Right now, I'm sitting in front of a large window with natural light coming in. It's beautiful and I love it. And if I wanted to, given the way I have my setup, I could even put a little bit more of a, a tone on here. I could, I could basically put a filter, if you will, uh, for it. And that would do it. So don't feel like just because, you know, you're using your computer webcam or, or your phone or whatever, that there's not ways that you can make it work for you. There are, and there's some pretty darn easy ones too. You just have to have the right uh, guide to show you that. Yes. No, I get it. Like I, I have, I don't, I'm not using it right now, but I have this like little five, literally $5 clip on ring light that'll go yes. on my camera. And I'm just using my built-in camera, which everyone's like, Oh my God, it's a built-in camera. I'm like, it's a great built-in camera. So I keep using it, but I'll just, you know, yeah. cause I do have natural light, but sometimes it's wrong time of day, too much glare. So I'll just pop on my little ring light and that's it. Yeah. And that's it. It's and amazing what it does. Simple. And it, I think it's, a, it's actually one that's designed to go on the phone, but it works super well on my, on my computer. I'm like, that's it. That's all you have to have. It does not have to be top of the line. In fact, you oh, really gosh, yeah. great stuff from phones and built-ins easily. Yes. Oh yeah. And that's the thing. When it comes to video, I think so many people are stuck in the past, uh, what video work really mm -hmm. entails. And, and that's, you know, a full day. Uh, with tons of people trying to figure out what to wear, hair, makeup, lighting, um, picture perfect here, there. That's not what it's about these days. And that's why I do what I do is to help break that barrier because that is not necessarily what you're looking for, right? <laughs> As a business owner, you want to be able to catch up with today's technology. You want to be able to show up online share your voice and be seen as the industry expert. And the yep. way to be doing that is through video and you literally have what you need in the palm of your hands right now. Yeah, so let's talk about being the expert on video because yeah, it's, I mean, if you are not you know, speaking your self on video, like, okay, I, I talked about this today. I don't know if you've heard of the red ocean, blue Ooh. ocean theory. It's a book, I'm pretty sure the book's called Blue Ocean Theory, but it talks about a red ocean, which is full of sharks and competition. Okay, mm. you and I swim in the marketing world, the coaching world, huge red ocean. And we can't make a blue ocean where there's no competition. We cannot unique ourselves enough to where we wouldn't have competition. And a lot of our clients, service-based clients are this way. Yeah. So how do you make yourself unique? What you just said, be the expert. And you don't have to be the expert at everything. And you no. don't have had to have been in it for 50 years to be an expert. Right. Yeah. That's the beauty of it. And you have so much knowledge. You are so talented and capable of doing this. You just need to do it. And I know that that's scary for those who maybe have never <laughs> wanted to be on camera or who have tried it, but really haven't felt comfortable enough to continue to do it. There's steps that you have to go through. Yes, just like anything else. But understand that those steps are closer than you think and you can and will do that, yeah. especially this year. So know that that barrier is, is about to be broken if it hasn't already. And you are going to start showing up more on camera and being comfortable enough mm -hmm. to share your world because your audience is out there and they're waiting to hear from you. And in fact, they need to hear from you because if they don't, you're, you're really doing them a disservice. I love, I love how you just put that because it's true. It's, and you never know, it, it, you know, my, my life partner, I talk about this all the time, focus on the why and the how is going to show up. And you never know who, you know, I, I'm utterly fascinated when I go look at my analytics on the podcast and go, so people came in on that video and then you can see where they went. And I'm like, that video is a year old. 
Yes. But it was sort of a similar topic. It wasn't even the same person, you know, different guests, different expert. That was like, huh, had no idea. And so all of a sudden, you know, then that one will pop up more in the feed because people are watching. So you just don't ever understand who's going to see it and when they're going to see it. And that's, you know, that kind of goes back to why the video? Because mm -hmm. it's always, it is really the truest and most authentic evergreen content you can create. Yes, you bring up such a great, I'm so glad you brought this up. Okay, yeah. so now I'm nerding out. Because, <laughs> <laughs> because how many of us business owners would love to have an assistant or have our assistants do more work for us? without yeah. breaking the bank more, right? And how many of us want to be able to continue to show up in people's news feeds online and continue to be top of mind without constantly stressing about posting every five seconds on every social platform? Yep. Video does that. When you use video combined with social media, it does that for you. Just like you said, Megan, is you're able to have videos from a year ago. I, I had a similar experience from two years prior mm -hmm. where someone had just watched it for the first time. It resonated with them and they connected with me. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't promote that video. And, and you think about all the regular posts, let's say on Instagram that you just the regular ones, photos, you know, text, whatever. Uh, you're posting those in two seconds. If that they're already gone and they're probably not going to get recirculated let's let's just face it right yep. and that's going to be an issue for people for being able to have that happen and so with video and when you're on the right platforms with your video it's going to keep working for you even while you're sleeping yep. that's an amazing thing yeah. and that is why video is so important and why you should have it wherever you show up from your social channels to your website to your emails, to text messaging. I work with real estate agents and I know a lot of them are using text, yep. being able to text video, like everywhere you want to be and where you're currently at, you can add video. You can. And it just really, you know, like we keep saying, it just that instant trust, that instant face. And to a lot of people, it feels, you know, especially if you, you do those, like the text videos, Hey, I was just thinking about you and thought you might want to know. They're like, you sent that to me? And they think it's yes. so personal. You're like, I sent it to a thousand people. But the way you worded it and the way, and that's the beauty of video. And I recorded that as six months ago and just reused it. Like, great. Yes. So I love that about video. So as we wrap up this fun conversation, because you know, you and I could geek out for hours on video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. If this resonates for people, what is, you know, one of the best ways, we'll pop all your links in the, description but what's one of the best ways that they could connect with you right now yeah uh my website edtroxel.com because on there you'll find a video several videos of myself all over where you can instantly connect with me whether you want to send me a video message ideally or a voicemail or a text you can do that easily over on my website and it will come directly to me so i can connect with you Fantastic. So for my audience who's listening or watching, whenever you see this or hear this, if this message resonates with you and you're looking for someone to help you get more confident in your videos and get out there a bunch more so you are not missing out on the social media trends of video, please connect with Ed. All of his contact information, including some of his freebies, are right in the descriptions below. And Ed, thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to collaborating and maybe having you again, bringing some more video content to our video audiences. Yes. To my listeners and watchers, thank you so much for joining me and Ed today. And I'm wishing you peace as you flow off to the rest of your business day. Talk soon. Are you a business owner with tips of your own to share? Go to flowworking.net. That's F-L-O-W working.net to schedule your episode taping today.